G'day, 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 you absolute bunch of bloody legends. Loser bum back on your screens with some high quality, ultra high production value internet content type of content. As you can see on monitor two, we have Bob Ross. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, just go check him out on YouTube. Great guy. And as you can see, we have a fantastically good looking portrait there on monitor three, aka the whiteboard. And uh, yeah, art. It's all about art. That's what we're looking at today. So welcome to the channel. Let's Let's dive right in. Here is a close-up of that very big portrait of a very good-looking gentleman you have there on monitor 3 on the whiteboard and I want to quickly walk you through the process of how I got there. Here you get an impression of the size, you know, how impressively big this is, and it wasn't a huge amount of work. So, yep, this is the uh, how it, what it looked like, right? So I got it there, da, 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 yakety sacks going there, just a few seconds, yeah, looks, uh, yeah. So, uh, as you can see, got an overhead projector, you can see that with the different colors, and I'm filling them in, and then right towards the end, I managed to knock over my camera, so you've got a great shot of the wallpaper on my ceiling. So, how did I get um, to make that particular um, to make that particular portrait over there? I'll walk you through the process very rapidly, end to end. Maybe something you want to do yourself. So, what I started with is this actual portrait. Good-looking picture, but you know, with a subject like that, where can you go? Actually, big shout out to Caleb, my man. He's the photographer. He done he done this one. So um, what happened was, so I got some fresh uh, markers, you know, like for my whiteboard right here, 13 uh, different colors in all, if you include black, if you include the white, that's 14 colors. Um, the first thing I did then was to, uh, let me zoom out there just a little bit. I uh, first uh, put all of the colors, just a sample on a piece of paper. I photographed that and then I just pasted that in at the bottom of this particular picture. Then what I did is I took this picture and put it in an online tool called PBNify. Now they're not allowed to use the real name. PBN is painting by numbers. Again, this is yeah, this is the retro. This was the thing you would uh, be able to buy uh, a set where there'd be a painting, and it would kind of look like um, if I can get it there, it would kind of look like this, right? You get a white piece of paper with the outlines there, and each of the areas had a number, and the number corresponded to one of the colors you got the little colors a brush and you would just fill it in and it would look like a real painting but basically all you're doing is just like coloring within the lines with some paint like it's arguable is it really art i'm going to say it is art and it's very relaxing right in these last uh, few years coloring in books for adults have been um have been very popular and um yeah it's it, yeah it is very zen very relaxing so it's kind of done a comeback but uh, painting by numbers been there forever 30 40 50 years i need to google it to find out uh, how long that is so um what you do is you take your picture and you go to this site pbnify.com link down in this description below then um, you drop your image in here so that's what we'll do we'll just grab the image the one with the palette the palette is important drop that in there and then it's how to click some points on the image to select your color palette so these are the colors that are available so i'm just going to say this is these are the colors i want remember these are the ones i got from my pen so click through all of those this, I'm not going to take this black because it's a bit light color. I'm actually going to take black from the t-shirt and the white. Remember the white background because yeah, it's a whiteboard. And that's as the name says. Then you press the button, PBNify. It goes and uh, turns a little bit. And because this picture isn't that big, it only takes a few seconds. In terms of privacy, apparently this entire process is actually um, running in your browser. Supposedly, it's not being uh, uploaded to anywhere. So give that a couple of seconds to finish. And if not, we can always switch over to the pictures. Yep, it's done. And this is what it's done. You notice it's only taken like one, two, three, four ish of my colors uh, because, like the blue, it just didn't find a play that a place that matched the blue, and the entire background is uh, is black. So that's uh, that's how that works. Um, then exactly, this is the filled in. You can save that. Uh, then if you click on outline, you exactly get that painting by numbers kind of color. And if you don't want to do it on the whiteboard, stop here. Take this, print it out on a nice thick piece of paper. Get your own paints, which could be whiteboards or crayons or whatever. Make your own and start coloring out and making some art. 
Now, what happens next to get it on to that whiteboard? Here's the little trick. So um, what I did, so I've got this outline view. Um, and then what I did is I went into GIMP. Uh, if you don't know, graphics uh, editor, it's like a free open source Photoshop. Um, it's not as beautiful as Photoshop, but hey, it's free and it's open source. Million tutorials out there. Over the years, I've used it a bit. I'm no expert, but I know how to use it. So all you do, the trick is very simple up here in select you have an option select by color so I just said all right select me all of the black and if I hit delete now he's gonna delete all the black but I want exactly the opposite so control Z to undo so I've selected all the black and now I could either go to select invert right that's gonna be the invert of the selection so he's gonna select everything else but black or I can just see as you can see here invert is also control I so from this from scratch again you select the color control I delete Ta-da! I now have a picture which has only the black colors you hit uh, file uh, export because um, you don't want to save it in the native XCF format you just want to export it as a, a JPEG and you can do that with shift control E because I had to circle through all the colors I literally went select the color control I to invert delete and then shift control E to expert and just saved it as the black color then you hit control Z to get back to our picture uh, click select uh, select all if you want just to go out then take the next color you know have the dark brown Control I to invert, delete, ta-da, now I have bright. Sh Control Shift E, export to the brown, etc., etc. And that gave me this, and I'm using this program. This is Ilfan View, great image view viewer. You should use it. Has a lot of functions, super, super duper fast. It's like 10 times as fast as, as Microsoft Image Viewer, which gets with Windows. I've been using it for years. Easy to copy, paste, uh, trim, things like that. Really useful. And then I can just scroll. So I've got in this folder all of the pictures with the different colors. So with uh, the left button and the right button, I can just scroll through them. So yeah, that's how I deconstructed that picture into those different colors. And what happened next? What happens next is I took an overhead projector, projected that onto the monitor, um, if you don't, I happen to have an overhead projector lying around because, yeah, it's a loser bum laboratories. If you don't have one, find somebody who's working in an office and ask them if they can borrow one. Trust me, at the moment, nobody is using the overhead projector, which is in the office because of um, Christmas. Yeah, it's because of Christmas. So borrow one, set it up at the right height, focus it, and then connect it to your computer, set up this folder. That's what I did. I have my little folder here where I have all of my different colored pictures. Right, open ear fan view, and then with the left and right, you just can scroll um, through the colors. And that's what I did, right? If we go back to our little video thing there, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Go back to the video, and I'll just do a, a little bit slower, more slowly. Yep, so I projected one color and I just drew over it, and then I projected the next color the black in that case and drew over it and then the next brown and so on and so forth yeah and the result I think you'll agree is a fine looking result I mean that's a really good thing and because of a the way it's reduced the colors you get this uh, already very abstract look and because of the way I've colored in sometimes I got lazy sometimes I'm doing it with lines sometimes I'm doing it with circles it gets this very I think impressionist look right and I'm, I'm really proud of that picture so very happy with that and that's why I wanted to share with you how to do this sort of thing so yeah pbnify bit again bit of ear fan view in my case i even had a cool little bluetooth foot pedal which does left and right arrow it's used for music uh, but you can just press you know press left and right on your keyboard and that's how you can go make your own picture so if you do that let me know down in the comments i'll be featuring you last time uh, in one of the next videos i'd love to see what you're doing uh what else can i say that's it i just want to tell you remember to like share and subscribe subscribe remember to tell your friends to like share and subscribe and speaking of subscriber our latest subscriber is mr launch welcome to the channel you're bloody awesome and just like the rest of you you're all a bunch of bloody legends i'm loser bum you're awesome and i am out of here